State Warriors are on top of the NBA world. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. The Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship. Who is the greatest NBA dynasty of all time? Would you rank Bill Russell's 11 championship in 13 seasons ahead of Michael Jordan's six titles in eight seasons? Especially when you consider that Jordan was playing in the 1990s while Bill Russell was playing in a league that did fairly have nine teams. Nine, there were nine teams. It's fair, it's a fair point. So today, what we are going to be doing, we are going to take all of the NBA dynasties, which we have also created a requirements for, which we'll dive into because we've got a fun one. We are doing something completely new. I really want to be doing new stuff on course, like the levels of content with my innovative new ideas, which are an error occurred on this. This is what happens, you know, all credit to what if sports sim matchup. So what we'll be doing with what if sports right here is by the end of this video, I'm going to show you my personal ranking of the eight top dynasties. And then we're going to go head to head with each team in a best of three series and see who uh, comes out on top as the best dynasty here. And here, Sporting News, surprisingly, has us covered with what I agree to be the only real criteria we need for an NBA dynasty. A continued star, continued core, along with three NBA championships. Eight teams fit into that mold. That sounds like a correct number of dynasties to be had in the NBA over 76 years. No Bad Boy Pistons, no Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol Lakers, and probably most notable, no Heatles. So no LeBron James Miami Heat run. But are we calling a four season run where you take home two titles a dynasty? You know, I don't agree. I think you have to have way more continued success than that. Jack and Kobe played on the Lakers together from 97 all the way up till 2004. Point being, eight Eight seasons with the Lakers with Shaq and Kobe. Here are the eight teams. We have the Minneapolis Lakers. Controversy already. Celtics fans in shambles, possibly. The Lakers count their Minneapolis Lakers titles towards their total titles, which if we look right here, we're jumping today, boys and girls and everyone. We're jumping today, everyone. We see that the Boston Celtics and the Lakers have 17 titles apiece, but we also see that five from the Lakers were won from 1949 to 1954 when they were playing in Minneapolis. Point being, would you count those five championships? Most of the Celtics titles were won in a league that had, to be fair, nine teams with no trading and no free agency. So where do the Warriors rank on this list? We have the Minneapolis Lakers. We have the San Antonio Spurs, five championships between 98 in 2014, of course, Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe and Shaq era, as we saw, that spanned eight seasons, which also brought us three titles. Boston Celtics with Larry Bird. These are Gill's rankings, remember? And so we have the Golden State Warriors current day at number four. My own rankings, I'm just gonna dive into in a second. In terms of finishing up this list though, he has, and I have too, I will spoil. I have the Boston Celtics at number three. They were winning before the NBA was fully figured out. You know, they were winning before rules were in place and before teams were in place, like very real, very real things. So here's the Boston Celtics championships. Clicking a random season here, as you can see, let's go left and right. Two, two series, two, not four, two. They're playing two series to win the NBA championship. Number two, I'm also gonna go with the Magic Johnson Lakers. I'm gonna just jump into my list as well right here. Number one, Michael Jordan era Chicago Bulls. Number two, Magic Johnson Showtime era Lakers. Number three, Bill Russell era Boston Celtics. Number four, Tim Duncan, San Antonio Spurs. Number five, current Golden State Warriors. Number six, the Shaq and Kobe era Lakers. Number seven, the George Mikan Minneapolis Lakers. And I'm ranking Larry Bird's Celtics below the Minneapolis Lakers. And here's the reason why. By the way, the format for this is going to be best of three series. And we're just letting it rip. Whatever happens, happens. Heavy hitter matchup, Boston Celtics, Chicago Bulls right away. The reason being, we're talking NBA dynasties, correct? dynasty. Now, does a dynasty lose that era? Does the dynasty lose for real? There is without a doubt a clear winner in the Bird versus Magic, Lakers versus Celtics showdown. And that is the Los Angeles Lakers. That is the Magic Johnson Showtime Lakers. So that's why I have the Lakers at number two. Am I saying that the Boston Celtics 1986 are getting taken down head to head by the Minneapolis Lakers? No, what I am saying is for a dynasty, I'm looking for a period of continued dominant, dominant play. And the Minneapolis Lakers had one star. They had five championships in six seasons. Sorry, LB, 
you had won one more. By the way, guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications because if you did not know, I'm doing the biggest giveaway ever. To celebrate the launch of Coors Light, we are giving away a VIP experience to game four of the NBA Finals. Plane tickets, a room, incredible seats. It is all included for game four of the NBA Finals for one lucky person who is subscribed to Coors Light. The winner will be picked on June 1st. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and turn on post notifications for Coors Light. Good luck. I cannot wait to pick the winner. This is going to be incredible. We see in game one, Larry Bird makes two free throws and we are scrolling through this play-by-play -play, and it is not looking good for Chicago. Jordan is trying his best at the end of this, but we have game one going to Larry Bird with 21 points. Jordan putting up 43. Scotty, where are you at? There goes game one. Bulls down 0-1. So we are going to do two home games and then switch to the away and to begin this one okay the chicago bulls are up by a lot this is a chicago bulls blowout lb didn't have it for him this time the boards dennis rodman with 19 okay one to one here the deciding game now the winner of this will be moving on to four versus five which is gonna be the 2014 spurs versus the 2017 warriors let's just end up seeing what happens though here Fourth quarter, it is a close game. We need to see, are the Boston Celtics going to be able to pull this upset? Michael Jordan, bank shot, nine minutes left, but we have Scottie Pippen, big turnaround. Did the Celtics ever make this a close one? It's not looking like it. 96 Bulls run out the clock, put them to the next round. We show proof of purchase here, recent games, Papa, which I will say as we are here looking at the San Antonio Spurs, looking. At 2014, which we are also going with just highest win total again. We have 2014, 2017, have not had a close game yet. So the Golden State Warriors, I have number five right now. I think if they win the title, I would still have them as number four. But you could then talk me into the same Bill Russell argument for number three. So we go into this fourth quarter. Do we have a close one on our hands yet? Not even. We have a smoke show on our hands. Are they going to get blown out as Steph drops 26? This was the first team that was good enough to beat that Heat team. I mean, right after, let's be honest, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, Tim Duncan, like the rest of the core of this team was very old and they really had one incredible final run. So the Warriors take a 15 point lead with 417 left, fouled on a three. It's Steph Curry's fifth. 142 to go. And Kevin Durant's fadeaway is rejected by Kawhi Leonard. We have a ball game. And on the other end, Tim Duncan grabs the board. Kawhi, 4-3. That bold, when we scroll, we know that's a score. Steph Curry, eight seconds later. Warriors running their offense. Kevin Durant overthrows it out of bounds with 30 seconds left. Spurs, chance to take this. Tony Parker's driving attempt is denied clay thompson wins the rebound and is fouled steph curry is fouled makes one danny green buries the three one point game overall steph carrying 35 love to see tim duncan timmy 22 and 10 overall we have golden state warriors advancing a sweep so that means that two verse seven does now give us the los angeles lakers with magic johnson i'm assuming that the 1987 los angeles lakers are going to take down the 1950 minneapolis lakers anyway let's see did the lakers pull this out uh yeah this is just a giant blowout so the 53 lakers they're still figuring out basketball but here we go we're just rolling into Game two, is this gonna be a sweep? No, sorry, we're not even going to a play-by-play. -play. Moving on, Boston Celtics, 1965. All right, so here we go. Shaq versus Russell, game one. The matchup you never thought would happen. Here we go. We got a close one, we got a close one. We are going to the end of this game and Satch Sanders, contested three. We have Shaq, Fallon, and Hondo. John Havlicek, Glenn Rice. Open fadeaway jumper. Why is he fading if he's open? Bill Russell, fadeaway jumper. Who's guarding him? Shaq. Kobe, open fadeaway. People can't stop fading in this game. Foul on the jump shot. Makes one, misses 47 seconds left. Knocks it in, two seconds left. Connect, what? Connects, Sam Jones. Bank is open. Tie ball game, we're in overtime. Okay, watch out for that Hondo three. Okay, rejected, fouled again. Shaq puts it away at the line. Oh, wow. Shaq is just fouled like a monster. They have a chance to still win. On a great look, five seconds left. Derek Fisher? No, Glenn Rice. They call a timeout and they can't connect. What a journey. Right to the next one. Lakers take game one. Game two, another close one. Five point game, 240. All right. You know, maybe some of you were believing in the 1960s and 50s teams, but 
Unfortunately, they've been smoked out of this competition. We're moving on. We are on to the second round. So this is going to be the 2017 Golden State Warriors versus the 1996 Chicago Bulls. We are hitting Sim and we are seeing. Steve Kerr drills a three, 1130 left. Nervous. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the nerves. I'm kind of rooting for the Bulls. I'll admit it. Scotty Pippen drills. Jordan, the jumper, four and a half left. And we have 34 seconds left. Clay Thompson misses the open three. Ron Harper corrals. Everyone's corralling. Golden. You don't need to be those guys. But Golden Corral in the rebound. Michael Jordan buries the floater. Steph Curry makes the contested fadeaway near the basket. Jordan fouled. He makes them both. He is Michael Jordan. And we've got a timeout. Steph Curry with the brick. Sorry, Warriors fans. Chicago Bulls take the step five for 17. Michael Jeffrey, Jordan, 32 points. We got game two, three point game. We're scrolling, we're scrolling. Jordan fouled. Okay, we're here, we're here. A minute left. Luke Longley, Longley, Jordan with the three. How we feeling about the Chicago Bulls advancing? Warriors didn't get a home game to be fair. Jordan though. Chicago Bulls advance to the finals here. On the other side, Shaq and Kobe going up against 1987 versus 2000. Another battle of the decades. Old Kareem, Shaq trying to bully, could happen. Magic's Lakers with a big lead to start the fourth quarter. No, it wasn't, no. 36 points, 22 boards from Shaq. So on the other side, Kareem holds it down at 27. Magic, 18, 12 assists, seven boards. James Worthy, a big 27 points. Shaq was player of the game in the loss, the Jerry West award. Are we going to have Magic versus Jordan in the finals? Where can Shaq and Kobe make this interesting? Two minutes left. Finger roll, Michael Cooper, floater. Magic Johnson, no look pass. He taught James Worthy well, I guess. Shaq. This is nonstop scoring explosions. The 2000 Lakers trying to stay in this. Blocked by James Worthy. Could be. All right, there we have it. 1987 Lakers versus the 1996 Bulls. The best of three to decide who's the greatest NBA dynasty. We have found that today, everyone. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications because we are on that grind to 10,000 subs and we're just not stopping. Comment down below anything else you wanna see, anything that you think would improve these types of videos. As we get in to game number one, we're hoping for a good final. So here though, we have a two point game. Kareem, clank, Scotty Pippen. Knocks in the runner. Scotty ripping down the board. Michael Jordan. Luke Longley's everywhere. Magic. Open jumper. We got the two point game. Jordan contested three in game one. Chicago Bulls. Magic's got to step up. Player of the game. Scotty Pippen. Michael Jordan, though. 25. Here we go. Game two. Is this the final game? We'll see. Fourth quarter. It is a close one. Michael Cooper hits the pull up. Longley. Too much. Too much Longley, it's looking like. But Scotty Pippen drains and then Magic. Fadeaway jumper fouled. Jordan misses one. Kareem hits the three. Okay. Um, we're sweating. We're sweating. James Worthy, brick. Number one all-time dynasty, Chicago Bulls. It's a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video again. Thank you so much for the support. If you're here right now, you are so awesome. I really, really appreciate you. As always, have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. And cue that music. Kevin. So I see you're becoming a teenager. Been walking around acting all cavalier. I think it's about time we had that talk about the Hawks and the Hornets. No way. Dad, I'm not going to talk about that with you.